Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this overview of my Chrome Lenovo C100 Chromebook. Um, as you see here, it's in the evening, uh, almost 5 o'clock here. I'm recording this using the TechSmith Snagit extension. Um, and here you see my um, settings. So I'm connected to my network. Wireless network, my Bluetooth is disabled. It shows my battery indicator here. It shows the date right here. And it gives a, a little question mark here, which sends me to a help, which will help me uh, discover my Chromebook. We also have our power and our lock, power, and help. And here, if we click here, we open up the settings in the Chrome web browser. So we on the very top of settings, we have the Wi-Fi. We can allow proxy for shared networks. We can change the wallpaper by simply clicking here, which will open up this box, which will allow us to change the wallpaper. Right now, I have on Surprise Me. So if you uncheck Surprise Me, you can select the wallpaper that you want. So let's select this little elephant, and it's going to download it. And so if you see here, it has a little elephant. So now if we open up the settings again and we look through here, we have get themes. Uh, themes will simply, when you select themes, it will simply open up the Chrome web store and let you be able to download a theme. So let's do this dog. It's called like. So we simply download that. It downloads that and then it will apply the theme. As you see there, it applies the theme to orange so that kind of if you want to customize your Chromebook now if you want to just scratch all that and go back to your default you just simply hit reset to default theme and then we open up this and you're back to your normal default Chrome um, theme the default Chrome theme instead of what you selected all right and right here we have select show our home button uh, if the home button isn't shown, you won't be able to add a home page. And so here, if I click on change, um, showing the website, I can add the home page that I want to go to. So this can be any website you desire. Then over here uh, on the device settings, under that you have trackpad speed. If you need to change the speed of your trackpad, um, and then also some trackpad tips. And it will tap to click traditional scrolling or Australian scrolling. If you want to learn about Australian scrolling, simply click the um, link there and it, it opens up a Google website um, community help form and it will show you how to use the Google Chrome touchpad. So if we go and keep moving on, um, also now here in search, we can simply select maybe our different search if we do not want to use Google. We can use Yahoo, Bing, Ask, AOL. Uh, we can also hit Manage, which will show other search um, engines. So simply select the search engine that we want. We can also sign in to our Google account. We can also hit Require Password to Wake from Sleep. So if your computer, so you set the lid of your Chromebook and you, you wake it back up, you can require a password. Uh, here's an advanced seat sync settings um, if you want to sync your apps your your um, autofills your bookmarks your extensions your history your passwords your settings your wallpapers and desktops and open tabs you can sync that across your devices uh, you can also encrypt your secure and you can encrypt your sync password with your google credentials so that no one can steal those you can also manage other users if you have other users on your chromebook uh, you can here so hit show advanced. That will let you see the date and time. Uh, if this is selected, set time automatically using your location. You won't be able to have access to this. So if you want to change that, you simply click there if it's not correct and change it to whichever one you want. You can also use a 24-hour clock instead of the 12-hour clock. Uh, content settings if you want to set uh, allow cookies, image, JavaScript. Handlers, plugin, pop-ups, location, notifications, full screen, mouse cursor, all your microphones, exceptions. So if you have certain um, 
applications that you want to allow your microphone, that's where you're going to change it. Uh, camera, what application is going to use the camera, do not allow sites to access my camera. All that stuff is right here in the privacy settings. Uh, clear browser history, that will clear your history. And you have a lot of different other options. Enable Bluetooth is here if you need to. Uh, password uh, fill in, web content. This is if you want to change the size of the font on your browser. You can also change the, the zoom. You can also customize fonts here. Uh, this is your standard font, and you got different other thing. And then this is if you want to uh, uh, advanced font settings, we will we'll pull you to the Google Chrome st uh, web store, and we'll have you download an extension called uh, Advanced Font Settings, which is not preloaded. This allows you to customize font to, to different l language scripts, it says. So it gives you a whole bunch of different options if you want to uh, mess around with your font. Uh, I haven't looked into that. All right, moving on. Uh, down here we have um, language. We also have that download location. So if we want to uh, ask where to save each file when downloading, you can also disconnect Google Drive. So right now it's downloading to our local drive. If we change that, I believe we can change it to our Google Drive. Let me see if I can um, simply... No. Yeah, you can change to whatever. Um, maybe you have a folder in Google Drive that you can um, save it to. All right, that's where you change your download location. Uh, you also, right here, you have Google Print. You can manage your Google Cloud printers. Uh, you can also unstart up open specific set of pages if you have a specific set of uh, websites that you visit. Uh, and down here, you have your accessibility that you can do enable tap dragging. Spoken feedback, sticky keys, uh, a lot of different. And here, very bottom, we have Power Watch, which will remove all user accounts and reset your Chrome to be like new, which is a very cool feature of Chrome OS. You also have reset settings to the default, just in case you mess mess something up. Now, that's mostly all the settings we've gone through. Now, we about Chrome OS. We'll show us our version uh, of Chrome OS, which updates automatically. You can also get help with using Chrome OS, or if you have a problem, you simply report it here. Uh, if your device, if this is not grayed out, your device may be having Wi-Fi issues, so it, will, it won't be updating automatically. But if everything is fine, it will it will be updating automatically. Right? That's the nice thing about Chrome OS, it updates automatically. So simply, that's the settings. It's a pretty simple, um, if we open up the launcher here, we have Git help and then our Google extension. So we can actually talk to it by saying, OK, Google will let me actually talk to the computer through the Google voice uh, commands. Uh, so that's, that's very neat to do. So I hope you all enjoyed this, this little overview and hopefully this recorded. And I'll see you guys in the next video.